what did y'all think about the Beyonce album? Did y'all like it? What did y'all think? Personally, for me, it was giving... It was giving a, a lot of... It was giving a lot of that. <laughs> back to another video brought to you by the one and only Simone Nicole TV and that's on what period poo. period so in this video I'll be doing a get ready with me or we're literally just getting ready for another video I'm gonna record but I figured why not record myself getting ready and show you guys the products that I use um, because they're really my staples like they're my everyday I enjoy I enjoy wearing these products um, I don't replace like whenever I need upgrades or when it not upgrades whenever I need more I don't actually go and find a different brand I reuse the same brand so maybe what I use can be very beneficial to your makeup collection or maybe you have some of these items already and they're also a staple of yours but let me know down below if they are also I hope you guys can hear me I have that air blowing right now and I have to keep it blowing because my Sony ZV-1 camera tends to overheat from time to time and yeah i don't need that happening right now this is more this was a spontaneous video so bear with me if i don't have all the products that i usually would use or my brushes are dirty or if i need to re-up on some items because this was not playing i was like let me just go ahead and show y'all the real and the raw of how i like to do my makeup okay so let's get into it um first and foremost make sure you drink your water Make sure you drink your water. I usually like to buy the fat, what is it called? Not fat water, it's called, um, <laughs> that's Fenty Beauty. It's called um, Just Water. Um, yeah, and then clean your face. I did that already and I moisturized. The first item I'm gonna use is gonna be my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft and Silk. This is how it looks. I don't want to focus wow this is a first this is a first Hold on. okay so we're back and we're gonna try this again fancy beauty in the soft silk fancy beauty there we go there we go in the soft silk yes i really don't need that much I'm going to do my brows so I like to do my brows I prefer to have my brows um, professionally done like as in go get them tinted because they just look so good um, and it just takes off a step from what I have to do whenever I want to do my makeup and get super cute but you know what sometimes you're not able to do all that you're not able to do all that so I like to use this brush from Elf. It's called Eyebrow Duo. And it has a toolie on one end and I don't it's like an angled brush on the other end. So I choose both ends of that and then I have another which one? I have two of these because I ran out. One of them ran out. And then okay, this is the one that hasn't ran out yet. I think I just have this one just to have it. Just didn't throw it away yet. The next one I have is an NYX uh, Fill and Fluff Professional Makeup in the color black. And this is how it looks. I like to use this as well to like brush out my brows to kind of see the shape of where I need to trace. And then it has that piece right there in black. My natural color is a 1B, which is not a jet black, but I prefer to have darker eyebrows. I prefer, because they look black. I mean, they just look a little bit dull. <laughs> so I prefer. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I had to, I had to charge the camera up. Um, hopefully it doesn't overheat. There's enough battery on it for the moment. But um, yeah, I did one eyebrow while off camera. I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but I like to do like um, just a clean, full brow more than I had previously. 
I like to start with a tip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one on this side and show you guys how I do that. Also, I done finished one bottle, so I'm on the second one. Yay me. Yay me. I'm not a thirsty individual, so it takes me a minute to finish water. The goal is to always finish at least three a day, especially if I want my skin to look better and my overall health and no bloating. Y'all feel me? You gotta drink your water. So basically with my brows, so I just make sure I brush them out. Oh, that's the wrong end. <laughs> I brush them out and work with the shape that I do have and I like to focus more on the tip of my brow just to as you can see it disappears my brow naturally disappears it thins out naturally and I want it to be thicker so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use um, this black that I showed you earlier and start to fill that out so I use my brow shape my natural brow shape and just kind of outline it and just press harder towards the tip and when I go forward I do lighter strokes so yeah that's just how I, I guess this video is more for like maybe beginners people who want to do um like summer beats like light summer beats they don't want to go too hard into the um full coverage I'm not really a full coverage girl mainly because I don't think I'm that skilled <laughs> in this arena but I like to look cute too, you know. I can do a little something, something, just a little bit. I can do a little something, something. And for me, I need to raise my eyebrows. I don't know if it's because of the way my eyebrows are shaped or my my bone structure. I like to raise them to really see what's going on. And I do upward strokes. So upward strokes to go with the way the hair is growing, or to make the hair go that way if it's not already going that way. So upward towards the arch, and then I go down. Well, I want to make sure I don't lose that arch. So yeah, as you can see, the tip is a little bit more defined. If you want to go in more, just yeah. So first off, how y'all feel about uh, the Beyonce album? <laughs> how y'all feel about it? Was y'all feeling it? Of course, before the album was released, she released the one, um, you won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. And I love that. I played that all day when it first came out. All day. That was the only song that I played all day. But for some reason, I'm using this concealer from e.l.f. Um, it's called Hydrating Camel Concealer Satin Finish. I like to use it to highlight my brow to help carve it out. It's in Deep Cinnamon. I like to use it to carve out my brow. As you can see, I've had it for a while. But um, I don't like to put it directly onto my face, on my skin, so I use a tip. I use the tip of this to just tap, 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 and try to get as much off. I can't get a lot off from here. I just dip it inside to just get more off. But yes. Um, I was feeling that album, I mean that song a lot. And then I went to put on the album and I was kind of confused. Maybe I didn't understand what the message, not the message, but I will, I'm not, I don't, <laughs> that's the brows. Next we're gonna do is a put on, I don't really do eyeshadow like that. So we're gonna skip the eye part. I'm gonna leave my natural lips the way they are because I just like the way it looks when my makeup is done. So next we're gonna do um, foundation, I suppose. So I've been using the Ease Drop for a long time. This is the Blurring Skin Tint by Fenty Beauty in the shade 21. I've been using this ever since it was released and I actually bought like five of them at one time because it was so hard to find them in stores. They were sold out. I've been to different cities looking for them and they were all sold out. But I like to use this. Um, this is definitely not full coverage. As I said, skin tint. And I don't know, I just like it. I just like the way it looks. I like the way it comes out. It's not too heavy, but it's just the right amount of coverage for me personally. Fun fact, before Rihanna, I never wore foundation. Like she's the reason. Oh. <gasps> oh no, I got makeup on my facade. Oh no. So
so wow about to die already i've cleaned that and taken it off because i'm not trying to get that dirty more than it is so let's go ahead and continue i'm going to be using a just a random um i don't have a beauty blender so i'm going to be using this is just another sponge to blend out the makeup i can't believe my camera's about to die already i don't understand i just charged it up to like 75 percent and it's not already saying it's about to die i don't get it Hey y'all, so I decided to go ahead and just finish recording on my phone because my camera is acting up. I don't know what it got, what is, I don't know what's going on with it right now, but um, it needs to charge, even though I just let it charge a few minutes ago. But yeah, I went ahead and applied my um, eavesdrop, my eavesdrop in the shade 21, and I went ahead and blended it all out as much as possible. I'm gonna just keep recording, and if I don't like it, I don't have to post it. And that's on period at least i attempted so okay i like to use for my under eye is the concealer that i showed you guys earlier the hydrating camo concealer so i'm gonna place this in the under eye and i've heard that the trick is to put it here and here there's no need they say the girls when i say them talking about the girls the beauty gurus there's no need to cover the entire under eye unless you do want that full coverage. But I don't want a super, super obvious brightening effect. Of course, I'm putting it on here for a reason, but I don't want it to look super dramatic because it's like, for me, an everyday type of um makeup. But I, what I was telling y'all before the camera really cut off is that, um, what did y'all think about the Beyonce album? Did y'all like it? What did y'all think? Personally, for me, it was giving... It was giving... A, a lot of... It was giving a lot of that. And I wasn't expecting that. Maybe y'all were. It was giving a lot of 80s and 60s vibes, too. But it makes sense because the album's called Renaissance. So, I don't know. I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Okay, and I'm gonna blend it out. Like I don't have my typical beauty blenders. My, I just have these um, basic sponges you can get from your local Target, you can get from the dollar store. Like I said, this is not, I'm not an expert. I'm just showing you guys what I have and showing you guys my routine because I was like, why not? Why not? So I'm just gonna blend that inward. I guess this is more for so like the people who are maybe new at makeup or want a look that's not dramatic something that's light for the summer i definitely prefer or want to um suggest that you use the pots that i use because they're very lightweight um yeah if you're a full coverage girl this video is not for you um, if anybody has any advice on the technique that I'm using, let me know. I'm all, I'm all about improving. I'm all about improving. And fun fact, I know I've already mentioned this to you guys on the other clips or if the camera had cut off or not, but I did not use makeup, like foundation. I haven't used any, I've never used foundation or under eye concealer or any blush or any um, bronzer. Like that was new to me before Rihanna came out with her product, which was, you know, not too long ago. So just imagine me not knowing anything about makeup because there just wasn't makeup available for my skin tone, which is a beautiful thing now. It's a beautiful thing. But um, I usually use this Urban Decay all night setting spray, but I'm out, I need to get some more. Nothing is coming out. No, nothing is coming out. <laughs> but I don't have any type of um, specific setting spray that I use. I use any setting spray. I've been told or I've learned also that the brand doesn't matter. It's just the way you use it, like reapplying it after each layer or between, or like at least spraying your face four times during putting on your makeup will help it last longer and not um, spread off to your clothing. But yeah, once we blend all that out, I don't know if I blend it out all the way. How's it look, y'all? Is it looking all right to y'all? What y'all think? Lighting changed so much because the sun is not going down, but um, I'm using two different devices to record. 
so see how I like this so yeah I got that out the way did the eyebrows did the foundation well the um, skin tint like I said you can layer it up more or leave it the way it is I'm gonna leave it the way it is I did the under eye I also sometimes will go in with the bright fix caramel it's an eye brightener illuminated air contour this is how it looks I think I'm always almost out of this as well. It's caramel 18, 15, caramel 15. I don't know if I already said that. Ooh, it comes out so fast and so easy. Y'all see that? <laughs> but I like to dab a little bit this, a little bit of this on top of my concealer, just in case I need a little bit more brightness or if I just want it to blend better. And I know it's good to let it sit a little bit too. This is a little bit more runny than the other one. And when this came out, I believe everybody was using their fingers to blend it out, which, you know, that's cool too. I do that sometimes, I'll use my fingers. Or I'm gonna use my pinky to blend that out a little bit. I like to go in an upward direction, not downward, upward. I go down near my nose. Highlighter on, not highlight. Do y'all put do y'all put y'all concealer on um, before or after your foundation? What do you prefer? And you see how there's a line. I like to take a sponge just to blend out the line too, so it's not harsh. But I like to have a little bit of the product still there just to give it a more of a highlight. Like, can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? I don't know. I have my daiquiri dip and my cream. This is a um, Cheeks Out. I have my Cheeks Out in 06 Daiquiri Dip. And it is a cream. Also from Fenty Beauty. And I always apply this with my finger. So I just kind of dab it. This is how the color looks. As you can see, I'm, I use it to and press it on my cheek. other side as well right there on top of my bone a little bit above the bone just to give it that color we like that color can you see it I have my airbrush flawless finish micro powder so I like to put that on, on top of my foundation how it looks and I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty 170 setting and this is from did I already say where this is from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to use this brush. So I just pat it and then just place it around. Not directly on top of the blush I just put, of course, but like on the areas where I placed my foundation just to make it less shiny. Give it more of a matte finish. I'm really not enjoying making this video because it's slowing me down from doing my makeup and this is not my forte but I just want to do something different I hope you guys enjoy it <laughs> hopefully somebody gets something out of this video but hey it's going up if it look right it's going up <laughs> okay so we've applied that in every way put extra on my forehead 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 okay so we did that now what we're gonna do is apply my toffee teas and my mocha mommy i probably should have put the toffee teas on underneath the uh the finisher but normally normally i do have i feel like there's not really a set way that i do this i just do it so i'm using my elf complexion duo brush 
and my coffee teas from once again Fenty Beauty cheeks out I like to use this to bronze so we're gonna fuck you in girl and I'm gonna push upward with it a circular upward I mean, it just looks so pretty to me, the way that the toffee peas and the daiquiri dip looks together. To me, it does. And I can really see the difference. And the other side, can you see the difference? And then I like to take the smaller side and contour my nose a little bit. So just to bridge a little bit on this side. I don't really use too much because I just don't. I just want it to have a light contour, not a very harsh line. And I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I like to feel like it does. <laughs> So yeah. And I focus mainly on the bridge right here, the side bridge. I don't really drag it down all the way. I just focus right here. I don't know, it'll make a difference to y'all, what y'all think? All right, and then we're gonna use Mocha Mommy to go on top of Mocha Mommy. Sun Stalker from again Fenty Beauty to go to on top of as you see I use a lot I use all these a lot we're gonna use that to go on top of the daiquiri dip and I like to use this brush it's the um, highlight brush I have a highlighter but I like to use my finger for the highlight this is the Fenty Beauty highlighter brush and it's angled it is very angled I like to dab it in there and just kind of like let it set the daiquiri dip because the colors aren't too far apart in my opinion. I like to press that on top of it just to give it more of a hue and to help it set better. And of course, like I said, I go in an upward direction from my cheekbone towards my temple, I guess, but not all the way at my temple, just towards that direction. So yeah, you can slide it if you want, but I like to pat, 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 pat. And then I like to also put some of the Mocha Mommy on my temple. Because it gives that bronze sun-kissed effect. Spray setting spray <laughs> I would spray setting spray right now don't have any okay now I want to go ahead and set my under eye and I'm going to use the L'Oreal Mercier translucent setting powder and the regular it doesn't have a name just regular I know they came out with the honey but I've never used it I've had this one for probably over a year now it for a while as you can see it's almost empty so I'm gonna place this under my eye and up under my eye and up and down the sides of my nose not on where I bronze but underneath where I bronze where I placed the concealer earlier and just push it in I don't really feel the need to bake. I wish I had my setting spray because now I might look more cakey than I should because I don't have the setting spray, which I did not think about. I should have went that one. Do the same thing with the other side. Yeah, I'm not gonna use too much because like I said, I don't have my setting spray to help it soak in my skin or blend. What is the word? Immerge into my skin? <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna use this and we're gonna push it in. Push that bad boy in there. Okay. 
kind of put a little bit too much on that side, so I'm going to brush it off. And off camera, I do place concealer a little bit around my mouth because that's just a darker area. It's not dramatically darker, but I notice it. And I like to also put some right here below where I put my bronzer and my contour because it just helps the contour pop out more. Sometimes I'll put the concealer there, sometimes I'll just put the highlighter there. So today, I'm just going to put a little bit of a highlighter underneath it. Just so I don't have that dark shadow effect if that makes sense if you guys know what i'm talking about and i just like to blend it out underneath on my jawline just so that the bronzer as you can see is popping out a lot better now don't know if this is a hack or if this is what everybody does but this is what i like to do and then just dust it off a little bit so it's not too harsh of a line Yep. And that's about it for that. I know some people do con some people do like to uh bake their nose, but I really don't. So I'm just gonna use whatever's left to go on top of the nose and to brush across the middle of my forehead just for those points that usually the light hits <laughs> often just so it's not looking too shiny. Just to have that area a little bit more matte. Because we love a glow, we love a glow, but we don't want to look crazy with the glow. All right, we're getting somewhere, but I think we're getting somewhere, what do y'all think? But yeah, if it wasn't for Rihanna, I wouldn't have what I have. As you can see, I really love her products. I love her, period. I love who she is as a woman, who she is an independent billionaire boss woman. Like, I just love her and I love her products. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have these things to get beautiful, to beautify myself as most women who have the privilege to be able to do that since being in high school, being in middle school, because they had those things readily available to them. So yeah, I'm loyal. I'm loyal to the soil. Okay, now what we gonna do, now we're gonna do liner on the eyes. So I'm gonna put some liner and I need this mirror. I need to hold the mirror up close. I like, to use um black liner of course um this is in charcoal i got it from l this was a recent pickup because i ran out of my other liner and i love using um this style with the tip i've never used the pen before but i've used this and i've used um pencil liner for underneath i kind of gotten away from using that and now i just use the bottle glue gray this is charcoal but it comes out black so I'm gonna go ahead and put eyeliner on. And I've always been the wing girl. I've always, even when I wasn't wearing foundation, I was always doing things to my eyes. I always had eyeshadow, always had mascara, and I always used liner. So that was something that I always did. I love me, I love me a, um, a black liner and I love me a winged black liner. So we're gonna apply that. The trick is to go into the up ankles I'm gonna put upwards. I try to follow the natural way of my eye. And then I bring it in. So I don't start in the middle. I start on the outside and bring it in. And I don't go all the way in. I don't know if you guys can see, but I did not go all the way in. And then I fill in any empty spots. Now the hard part is getting it to match the other side. That's the hard part. So now I'm going to let that dry a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lips. So for my lips, I like to use, this is not what I like to use, but this is what I have available right now. Where is it? Okay, here it is, the MAC. I like to use a chestnut lip pencil by MAC and my MAC Bad and Bayer. My MAC Bottom Bear is how it looks. As you can see, I've been using it on top of my lip liner. It's so soft and pretty. So soft and pretty. I'm gonna think about off my head. Okay, and then I like to apply on top of that Praline from NYX uh, Butter Gloss and uh, Madeline, or I like to use my Chanel, 
what is this rouge cocoa gloss so either one they go really nice or i will use the cinnamon roll so yeah let's go ahead in with the madeline because it's a little bit lighter so i'm gonna go no i'm gonna go in with the actually i'm gonna go with the praline i'm gonna let the praline I'll put that over top so i like to use this danessa merrick's beauty um arnell actually put me onto this this is the dew wet balm um shade hot water it has a really nice summer gloss to it and i like to use my finger with this as well as you can see it has like a shimmer sheer to it but it doesn't come off shimmery it comes off kind of um creamy creamy and glossy so i like to pat this on my um my cheek in the upward direction so kind of where i would put the highlighter that's where i like to pat it just to give me that natural you know boom boom call it a boom the natural boom so i'm gonna put that it just pops off the the makeup and gives me that dewy natural dewy effect so yeah i like to pat it so that it's not looking spotty or cakey but it looks like you know it's within it's coming from within my body it's like a highlight without the actual shimmer part so you could do this by itself but because i like highlights I don't know if highlights are a thing, but I personally love highlights. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also take my trophy wife, baby, my trophy wife, again, Fenty Beauty, and um, put that here how it looks, Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. And I'm gonna use, I have a brush that I use for that, I believe. I don't know where the brush is at. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this um, eyeshadow brush. It's just a flat brush. I'm gonna pat it on here. Just pat, 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 pat. Then I'm gonna place it on top of where I put the Danessa Merrick's. Just to add to the, to the glow. Just a little bit. I got from Amazon, these are the Valicia lashes fluffy in 6023 this is how they look i love wearing them i would advise cutting them to shape your eyes cutting them into three pieces to place them directly where you want them to give your eyes a certain effect but i'm going to take them out they're already out and i was using this glue to apply a strip lash adhesive with aloe when it dries clear i'm always going to use a clear drying glue but I'm running out of this. So I went to Target and purchased this other glue and it is um, a lot easier to apply. I found because it has a wand type of style. It's a brush on adhesive with vitamins. And what made me get this is because I saw Arnell applying her lashes while she was in the car doing an Instagram live. And I was like, wait a minute, it was way easier than me having to take that other glue and squirt it on a tissue paper and then dip my lashes in it. It's so much easier and this drives a lot tackier so my lashes actually stick better in my opinion i'm not sure if this is this, this wasn't the specific glue that she used because she had a kiss glue for her lashes but this is um the duo brand i guess it's from target y'all go to y'all target and look it up it's the duo brand I, yeah and of course it dries clear so i'm gonna apply this on the lash line it's so easy look at that it's so easy so easy directly I know some girls like to put the la the glue on the lashes that helps too I think when it comes to applying it but putting this directly onto my eye like this is way easier for me and it turns kind of like that blue do you see that blue tint I don't know if it's because of the blue or because I'm putting it on top of my black liner it might be because of the black liner I'm gonna apply my lashes and um, change my hair up. Take this off my hair, do my um, edges real quick, and I'll be back. Hey guys, so this is the final result of my makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also put some nails on if you're interested interested in my nails. They are by Nails by Kita G on Instagram. I'll post it right here for you guys to see. Um, I forgot the step actually. So I also have a hula 
Toasted by Benefit. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them, but I have the Toasted shade and I like to put this on top of my bronzer just to set the bronzer. So this is how it looks. This is how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just have this brush that comes with it. I just tap it in there. And then I just kind of just place it and dab it where the bronzer was. But yep. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me talk about the makeup essentials my summer makeup essentials my summer dewy look hope you guys enjoyed the video it's very easy to follow um it's very much a clean girl look i would say it's not doing too much it's not too heavy don't even have any eyeshadow on but yeah this is my everyday go-to or filming makeup that i like to do so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye